Hello everyone. Today we are looking at hardwoods and softwoods and looking at their properties and their uses. So I want to take you on a little bit of journey first of all. Imagine you are walking through one of England's beautiful woodlands. During the summer you're likely to see these broad, sprawling, beautiful, strong trees uh, be beautiful and lush and green. During the autumn they're going to turn these gorgeous golds and reds and then obviously in winter they lose their leaves. So these kind of trees are called deciduous trees from the Latin meaning decidus, that which falls down, so meaning the leaves are falling. Now compare that to a beautiful Scandinavian northern kind of idyll like this. In this kind of landscape you're more likely to see these tall uh, needle-like trees reaching for the little bit of light that's available and often covered in snow like this. Well these type of trees are called coniferous trees and they're named for the conical cones. Cone, conical, coniferous. So these are conifer bearing trees and they are known as coniferous. So we uh, classify woods into softwoods and hardwoods. So trees are grown all over the world for timber and for paper. Different types of trees give different types of timber and they have different properties. So we classify softwoods and hardwoods because originally that described their typical hardness and I say typical because we're going to come back to that a little bit later but I want you to think more importantly it describes the leaves the seeds and the structure of the trees and but just before we get into that as well uh, so when we are making timber when the tree has been chopped down the branches are removed and the trunk remains so when the trunks are transported to a sawmill trees are cut into usable planks this is called conversion. And those planks are green. They contain a lot of liquid, a lot of water and moisture. So that's not very useful to be able to work in. So they need to have that water removed by seasoning. Now it's not adding salt and pepper, but it is about drying it out. So you can do that either in the air, like on the left over here. You might some some of you might have uh, a um, a little wood store outside your own house. Or, industrial scale, they'll use a huge kiln like this one, so they dry it all out, they burn fuel to dry it out. I have a fun little video for you, I'd like you to have a watch, which is all about making timber. It's only about five minutes, um, and it really is very good, so pause the video and go and watch that one now. So, let's go through some hardwoods now that we're starting to get a bit of an idea. So, hardwoods are these deciduous trees, the ones that we're so used to when we draw a little picture of a tree. So they are deciduous, broadleaf trees that lose their leaves in winter. They grow in temperate climates like the British Isles, like our typical woodlands. And they grow incredibly slowly, so often more than 100 years. Some beautiful oak trees can be three, four, five, six hundred years old. And because they grow so slowly, of course, they are very expensive, rightly so. They're made for expensive products like furniture and flooring. And they, because they grow so slowly, they grow very wide. Because they grow so wide, that's really good for making really large, wide planks, which again lends itself better to certain projects, like maybe big, beautiful table. They have a tight grain structure. So... Each of these uh, little rings inside uh, is a growth ring and that represents a year. So they grow very slowly so they have small tight rings between them. And because they have tight rings that makes them very hard so they, they um, don't scratch as readily and although they're quite hard to work um, they take a carving very well so uh, you can although they take a while to actually carve into it it gives a beautiful effect. Softwoods by comparison are coniferous named for the conifer cones. They grow in cooler climates like Canada and Scandinavia. 
they are evergreen trees so they don't lose their leaves they have needle leaves and that helps them retain moisture uh, and uh, uh, and keeps them growing all through the winter months they grow quickly they are grow very tall they're trying to reach that light so because they are uh, grow, grow quite quickly they're cheaper relatively so because they are cheaper they often use as building materials so often for things like construction uh, so they grow tall and straight as i mentioned and that means that actually although they don't grow wide for big wide planks they do grow uh, very um, very straight long planks instead they have a looser grain structure than hardwood you can really see the difference there um, between each ring and on the previous page and because they have a more open grain structure they're quite soft sometimes they're so soft you can push your nail into it um, so they're easier to work but actually then they're easier to dent as well so as a product sometimes they can be more uh, more easily damaged so we're going to go through some hardwoods now so the first one uh, we're going to do is ash so this is pale creamy in color it is it's quite tough and absorbs shock very well it's also very attractive because of its color so it's good for things like sports equipment tool handles because it absorbs shock also for things like furniture and guitars as well like this one here oak by comparison is uh is, is similar but but even stronger so it's light brown in color very strong and quite hard however it does corrode steel screws and fittings so if you put something into it it's more likely to uh, to corrode to um, break down sort of like rusting so it tends to be used for interior woodwork and really good quality furniture as well as flooring like this and uh, our last two hardwoods we have beech which is pale pinky brown in color it's quite hard it's quite tough and it can be bent using steam it's really good for things like furniture and toys also for things like decorative uh, bowls like like this one here and last we have mahogany which is a very dark reddy brown color it's very durable and uh, easy to work as i said so um, it, it's it's more difficult but it takes a shape really beautifully um, it's becoming uh, rarer uh, than ever before and so it's very expensive it's basically just used for good quality furniture um, boxes and trinkets and things like this now on to the softwoods we have four of these as well so pine is a white to pale yellow wood uh, lightweight um, and relatively expensive however it is quite knotty uh, a knot occurs wherever a branch is fixed into the uh, body trunk so it tends to be used for things like cheap furniture things like window frames fences construction um, and cheap furniture like that one here so if you're if it's um if you likely see it in ikea or in a local shop and it looks like it's solid wood it's probably pine spruce is similar to pine because it also grows in the same kind of climates so it's yellow brown color it has a good strength to weight ratio it's also knotty like pine but it's a bit harder than pine so it stands up to things a little bit better it tends to be used for things like musical instruments aircraft parts crates and construction like so and then our last two are these two are quite similar as well so larch is a reddy brown color it's quite hard and key it's resistant to rot so mold and uh, bacteria and insects are less likely to get in it's used for outdoor furniture fences gates cladding decking like this and cedar again very similar is decay and insect resistant and it comes in a variety of colors um, when i was living in canada i was lucky enough to uh, have a look at uh, and actually work with some yellow cedar and some red cedar so cool because of their color and similarly they're used for decking cladding but also things like guitars and canoes particularly in canada now we've got a couple of weird ones we're just going to consider here so a common mistake is thinking that all softwoods are soft and all hardwoods are hard so most are but there are a couple of exceptions we're going to learn about two one is balsa which is very light very soft but it is a deciduous 
hardwood, it looks like this, often grown in very warm climates um, in places like South America. Yew, by comparison, is incredibly heavy, very dense, very, very hard, but it's actually a coniferous softwood. And you'll probably have seen one, and probably in a graveyard, uh, because of the uh, needles that drop into the ground, they acidify the soil, which actually helps break down uh, decomposing bodies, which is why graveyards were built around them. There you go, fun fact. So we like to think of these two as our special cases. So let's go through those. So balsa is pale, creamy colour, low density, lightweight and very soft, easy to cut and shape. Uh, you comparatively is a reddish brown, extremely hard, durable, easy to work. That's the one I read. So <laughs> balsa is for modelling, crafting, toys and planes, whereas you is for furniture and cabinetry, like this. Now at this point you might be thinking, how am I going to remember all of these? That's so many. And I will say that's only a small, uh, small fraction of the different types of woods, but I have a little mnemonic for you. So I have arranged all of the woods by colour and by shade. So we've got ash and pine being the palest, mahogany and cedar being the darkest of our options. So if we were to visualise it and place them like this, and we throw in our special cases down here, the mnemonic that I've come up for you is all oak boards make perfect shelves lasting centuries beyond years. So... Hopefully that one will stick in your mind and uh, we'll reinforce that one a little bit at school. So now here's a little test for you before we finish up. I would like you to pause the video and have a think about which wood, which hardwood, which softwood you would think that these are most appropriate. So pause the video and then we'll go through the answers in a second. Okay, so I hope you've had some thoughts. So let's go through. Now, the first one is our rolling pin. Well, we want that. To, we want to make sure that that is not going to dent. If that takes a dent, uh, once you go and roll out your pastry, it's going to leave a mark in your pastry. So that is a hardwood, and it's pale, so it's uh, beech. Okay, it could also be ash, perhaps. Next, we have a cheap piece of furniture. We can tell it's a hardwood. Um, Oh, sorry, hardwood, sorry. We can tell it's, a, we can tell it's all wood um, because of the knots, but it is a softwood, and because it's cheap and cheerful, it's pine. Next, we have the outside tub. So it needs to be resistant to, uh, to water damage and rot. So already we can think it's either larch or cedar, and in this case, it's cedar. Next, we have our fence panels. Again, they need to be resistant to rot. It's something that goes outside. So it could be larch, it could be cedar, and they're larch. For our handles, our tool handles, we can tell that it's a very pale colour, which already gives us a good clue. It's going to be a hardwood. It's not going to be a softwood because that will bend and break. So that is ash. And we have our staircases. We need something that's going to be really hard, resistant to constant walking on it, particularly in stilettos, for instance. So it has to be a hardwood. It's quite a pale hardwood, so it's likely oak. Last but not least, we have a piece of furniture. It's very ornately designed. It's a very dark colour, so we can narrow it down to either mahogany or yew. But because yew is obviously very soft, it's going to be mahogany. I have two videos for you, um, just to uh, round up. Uh, this one is on making guitars out of uh, remnants of old pieces of wood. It's really worth a watch. That one's lovely. And I have this one from one of my favourite makers, in which case she's actually using oak and leather together. It's quite a long video, but if you are interested in woodwork, give it a little watch. So to recap. Hardwoods are from deciduous trees, growing slowly with a tight grain and are expensive. Softwoods are from coniferous trees, growing quickly with an open grain and cheap. Green planks are seasoned to dry them. We have ash, oak, beech, mahogany, pine, spruce, larch and cedar, balsa and yew. And all oak boards make perfect shelves, lasting centuries, beyond years. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. See you in class. Bye.